In Daddy 8K Elephant with social cues, I'm Josie with uh, Matt here. We're trying to find out if you had 30 seconds with Eddie Vedder, what would you say to be completely unforgettable? Uh, we got these tickets March 18th, Scotia Bank Arena, coveted tickets. Hi, in Daddy 8. I've had so many amazing experiences on the radio. Um, I've met so many incredible people. Oprah was so fun. I've interviewed Eddie Vedder with Pearl Jam. And then, of course, here in Canada, I mean, there's no one else but Gord. When Joel and I got married, we always wanted to have kids. It was always part of the plan. And, you know, we have two beautiful children, a four-year-old, Bo, and a six-year-old, Cole. I have a nanny as well, and she goes to school with my oldest, and she stays at school with him, just because he has lots of anxiety, and he was diagnosed with Soto syndrome. Soto syndrome is an overgrowth syndrome. It is a rare disease. Uh, children usually grow six inches taller than their tallest parent. It also comes with learning disabilities. It's really a loop bag full of different issues. Cole requires lots of support. So his immune system is compromised and we kind of have to keep him in a bit of a bubble. It is all about easing his anxiety. Anything from a tooth being loose, from him missing three months of school, to new people coming in, I have to prep him. Um, and sometimes it works. And people are like, oh my gosh, your child, he's amazing. And then there are days that it just doesn't work. When I had Cole, immediately, uh, he had pneumonia when he came out. Then he got reflux, and I kept thinking, why does, why are there so many problems, but there's not one big problem? Like, we never really knew what was going on, and after the reflux, it was something else. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking at my calendar, and we've been in the hospital for five months. After waiting, I think it was 16 months, we finally got the diagnosis. I was at work, and they called me at work. Um, and then geneticist was on the phone and she said, yeah, your child has Soto syndrome. And I remember being at my computer, Googling it while she was talking, like just, you know, trying, what is this? And she said, your child probably won't walk, he probably won't talk, and it's possible he could be living with you for the rest of your life. And imagine as a parent hearing that. I think the hardest part of all this is just getting through day to day just getting through it, getting through day to day. And sometimes we think we're sinking. Things slide all the time, like grocery shopping, <laughs> things like that. Because I'm, my main focus is coal. It always has been. Soto syndrome is very rare and there's not a lot of people that have that, but I do know that one in 12 Canadians have a rare disease on the radio. I would mention little stories about Cole and I can't believe how many people would call the radio station and just to say, hey, can I talk to Josie? I understand what she's going through. My child has this or I'm somebody who has this. So I have started to share a little more and it feels good to do that. I think that's the biggest thing is that you aren't alone, is that there are other people going through this and you forget that, you know, in these four walls you think that you're the only one struggling, but you're not. There are so many other people who have rare diseases and it's hard and the support, you know, that you get is crucial to getting through this. Rare Disease Day is really important. It's a great day to share. It's a great day to learn and to find out what's going on. But there's a whole year that people are struggling. It's a reminder to remember all year round, not just on Rare Disease Day.